What is up guys, my name is Harry Rice, welcome back to the channel. Today is a brand new video in 25 Days of Harry. Today, if you read the title, which I'm expecting a majority of people to have, I don't think I have many blind viewers on the channel. Uh, today is going to be another collection video, of course, because this is the week of the collection. This is going to be my video game collection. Uh, I'm going to get right into it. Starting off is going to be the PC and the PlayStation games. going to head over to Nintendoville, and then we're going to get right into the Xbox games to finish it off. I was going to do the PlayStation games last, but I thought... Why not? I'll just get them out of the way now. But we're getting to the PC games first. First off, we've got the 08 collection. This is a sports collection. For $10, this is actually really, really good. Uh, it's NHL, NBA Live, Madden, Tiger Woods, and FIFA. So you get five games for $10, $2 each. That's I think that's a pretty good deal. I've only played NHL 08 and uh, might have a Sim League idea involving it soon. Alvin and the Chipmunks, Avatar The Last Airbender, Double... Uh, light movie licensed video games. Alvin and the Chipmunks is very, very bad. I might have to do a video on, on it in the future. That my hair keeps messing up. And Avatar: The Last Airbender is kind of meh. I played it for like two minutes. Nothing much. Uh, next up, we've got a backyard sports double feature: backyard skate, skateboarding, and backyard hockey. Uh, very surprised they were able to get the NHL license, but I think it's pretty cool. I might have to play that eventually on the channel. Uh, backyard Sports foot, uh, ba Basketball 2007. If I can speak, that'd be great. Um, the fact they advertise Paul... Holy shit. The fact they advertise Paul Pierce as the guy on the cover of football or basketball makes me think it's not that good of a game. <laughs> Next up, we've got Baseball Mogul 2010. The B-Movie game, another licensed PC game. Uh, there's a lot of those I, I kind of have. Uh... Bod Miller Alpine Skiing. I can never get this one to install. I might try it on my current one. I'm not sure though. Build a lot. Um, it's one of those casual, uh, premier casual games from Mumbo Jumbo and Hip Shop. Hip Shop. Hip Soft. So it's not that. It's it's a building game. It's like Sim City. Canada Hunt. Uh, apparently it includes bonus elk and turkey hunts. I've never played this one. I've had it for God seven years and I haven't played it yet. Uh, who knows? Maybe maybe one month. Eventually, I'll go crazy and I'll do a PC game month. Who who really knows? Uh, City Builder. It's like build a lot. This one's by Maximum Family Games. It's uh, it's not all that great. It's not it's not this pretty generic. Deal or No Deal Secret Vault games. Uh, this is actually kind of fun. I I've installed this on multiple computers. It's pretty fun. I enjoy a lot of the games that are on here. Driver San Francisco. This is not the only driver game you will be seeing on the list. Unfortunately, um, I quite liked San Francisco from what I've played of it. I need to reinstall it and play more of it, but uh, it's kind of fun from what I remember. Duke Nukem Forever. This one took forever to come out after being in development hell forever. Um, but yeah, uh, I own two copies of Duke Nukem Forever. You will see the other one later. Aragon. This one I'm actually going to take out of the box for a very special reason. One that I think kind of polarized a lot of players one two three four discs this thing took four discs to install on a computer i don't know what it was i don't know why it took that many i'm trying to i'm gonna try and look for the specs uh on the game real quick um oh yeah they're usually on the bottom of the case yeah so system requirements windows 2000 or xp 1.4 gigahertz Intel uh, Pentium 4. This does not take much. This does not need four discs worth. Unless the... Yeah, it needs four gigabytes free space. If We'll get to a game, but four discs for that. That is that is nuts. Then we've got Fallen Earth Blood Sports. This is a GameStop exclusive. I don't know where I got it, but... I think I got this at the dollar store, actually. Um, but yeah, it's got a, a chicken mound as a... GameStop exclusive, so that's kind of cool, I guess. Um, next up, we've got Far Cry 2. I've never played this. I kind of want to. Uh, Fetch. This is a dog simulator. If ever you get lonely and you want to become a, a, a fat dog guy like me. Uh, Football Mogul 2008. I've never played this. Uh, I'm more into the fantasy hockey manager type game, so I, I, I prefer that. But, uh, yeah, my hair keeps messing up. I don't like that. Next up, we've got a blank case that I ended up putting Friends, the one with all the trivia, into. I don't know why I bought that. I never have watched Friends, so 
Grand Theft Auto 4 and Grand Theft Auto Vice City, very notable. Both these games only need one disc to run. Though I do want to bring up something interesting with uh, Vice City. Something very interesting that I find with Vice City. First off, if you want to get rid of the, the box, it does come in a CD jewel case. And I really love that when games come in CD jewel cases. But you've got the install disc. And it's flipped over. There we go. And the play disc. And that, that's, that's probably my only complaint is that the holder for the play disc absolutely sucks. So you see, I mean, it's working now, but guaranteed, I come back in 10 minutes, that thing's going to be, that, that, this game is going to be just messed up. And then, like I said, you got the install disc. I do like that. And then it's got, of course, the manual that's, that's always, uh, needed. You got some Rockstar registration thing, but then you get into something really, really cool. Or at least I think it's pretty cool. If I can pull it out, um... It's not what you think, <laughs> but we've got a, a disc. It's a it's a disc. Gaming software 4.30 from Logitech. Important information troubleshooting. Logitech addresses and phone numbers. I'm not going to show that. But dual action game pad. This the installation. This is honestly kind of cool. I don't know where. I don't know why this came in here. They rip off their homemade Logitech dual action controller. But yeah, I don't know where this came. I don't know why this was included in Vice City when I bought it. But that's honestly pretty cool. That is that is something. I always like that when video games end up accidentally coming with cool bonuses when you buy it used from a, a pawn shop or something. But yeah, Vice City comes with that. And then GTA 4. I've always liked GTA 4 personally. I think it's better than GTA San Andreas. It might be blasphemous to say. But I prefer GTA 4. I've not played GTA 5 in a while. So I can't really say about that game. Um, but yeah. And we've got Hot Dish. It's a Cooking Mama ripoff. It's kind of... It's whatever. I mean... It's 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 Cooking Mama. It's Cooking Mama. Then we've got... Uh, John Woo Presents Stranglehold. I've heard this one's kind of fun. Kanan Lynch Dead Men. Which I've also heard is actually kind of fun. Uh, MLB front office manager. This one I've heard is actually interesting. Um, I like that you can create your GM, build your roster, and you kind of take the field. I do like that. That is interesting. And then Puppy Love, your new best friend, which I never got to work on my computer. It was either this one or Fetch. I forget which one I couldn't get to work on my computer, but it was one of the two. It was one of the two I couldn't get to work. Um, I think it was Puppy Love, though, but yeah. Uh, Ragdoll Kung Fu Black Belt Edition from the two minutes I played of this. This is really, really fun. It's a really, really interesting game. Apparently it came with exclusive skins and limited edition poster. But all I have really is the manual and the incredibly, surprisingly, very generic disc art. Which is just the game's logo. Kung, Ragdoll Kung Fu. But, um, yeah. Reaction, it's Breakout. It's an interesting twist on Breakout, though. You spit out more balls, and your and your reflect a sketch thing you you have becomes smaller because you're spitting out the little magnetic um, micro vibranium uh, balls. Is what you're spitting out. So it's interesting. It's definitely interesting. Robots, another licensed PC game. Rock Tour 2008. I have to do a video on Rock Tour. It might be later in the, in this month if, if a video idea goes wrong or I'm not able to get a certain video completed. Then, then yeah, Rock Tour is going to get a video of its own. Because this is a bad game. This is a bad game. Funny enough, when you first buy it, and when you look at the cover, it looks like Guitar Hero. It's like, okay, Rock Tour, okay, cool. This is going to be a Guitar Hero-like game. But it's not. <laughs> And if ever I make a video, you guys will find out. If you guys want to look it up, you can do so. You have free time. Saints Row 2. I've heard really fun things about the Saints Row series. I definitely want to check it out. Singularity. I think the most recent PC game I've gotten. Or physical PC game. Uh, Split Second. Which I've heard is kind of interesting. And then Supreme Ruler 2020. Um, yeah. I, I always found it more convenient when games just came in DVD cases. I don't know why they had to put them... In big ass boxes, it never made sense to me personally. Uh, the eighties game with Martha Quinn. Um, it's kind of interesting. I mean, um, it's cool. I guess it's 
nothing really that special. The Apprentice Los Angeles with uh, Mr. Donald Trump on the cover. It's interesting. I, I've always kind of wanted to play an Apprentice video game, and it looks interesting. So, And it also came with The Club, which comes with a free one-month live Xbox or Xbox Live Gold Trial membership. So I don't know if ever I'm able to uh, if ever I'm able to get my 360 uh, connected to my internet, or I can hack find a way to get around the password from the guy who previously owned it, get my own uh, password working on it, get a capture card. Maybe I'll be able and get get to a place with good Wi-Fi. Maybe I'll get some of these live trials from my games because I think there's a few of them that have them, and I'll I'll go in and I'll I'll play some games with you guys. Who knows? Eventually. Uh, the Naked Brothers Band the Game. This is a very poor Guitar Hero ripoff. This is actually a Guitar Hero ripoff. Who knows? Maybe a double feature, Rock Tour and the Naked Brothers Band the Game. Because I have like 18, 8 different copies of this game. It's on this and it's some other consoles that you guys are going to see. Including in this section of the video. Uh, the Office. This is nothing like the TV show. It is a piss poor version of the, of the TV show. Might play it eventually. The Tale of Despero. Um, it's nothing amazing. Uh, the Unlikely Suspects, it's another one of these premier casual games from Mumbo Jumbo. They seem to make a lot of these. I might have to look into Mumbo Jumbo and see what they see what they were. Who really knows? I don't know. Um, Tom Clancy's Pr Splinter Cell Conviction. I don't know how I got this one. I don't remember where I got this one. This one came out in like 2010. And it couldn't have been that long ago I got it. Wait, is this an online pass thing? The full-length digital, digital manual is accessible and downloading from the... Oh, my. Don't you love when games do that? <laughs> Velvet Assassin. This is an interesting game, I've heard. Warbirds Dogfight. It's another GameStop exclusive, so that's kind of cool. Wheelman, which was pretty interesting. Uh, I played it a little bit. Seems kind of fun. Um, you Don't Know Jack. This is another one by... Or this is a game by Jackbox. It's in Jackbox. Really, really fun. You don't know Jack. Um, what are the other ones? Quiplash and Fibbage. Those are really good. I'm gonna get into the um, into the just in the CD case games. Then I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna come back with the PlayStation games. Then we're gonna go do the Wii, the Nintendo games. Then we're gonna wrap it all up with the Xbox games. So uh, with the Jewel Case games, <clears throat> let's go pull out the first ones. We've got Austin Powers Pinball. This was two dollars at a dollar store. I had to pick it up. Austin, uh, Austin Powers, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. This is an interesting game. Uh, quite fun from what I remember, actually. I quite enjoyed this. I think I actually have the first, second, and fourth Harry Potter games downloaded to my computer. So I might want to go through all four of these eventually. It might be fun. Uh, Mercenaries 2, World in Flames. Pretty cool. Need for Speed, Hot Pursuit 3. Oh my god, that almost came crashing down on me and killed me. Um... <laughs> No, but Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 3, I think that's one that only works on older model computers, if I remember correctly, I think. Then we're getting into the NHL games, and excluding 08, and excluding the ones I have exclusively downloaded on my computer, we've got NHL 99, NHL 99, 2002, 2003, 2004, and 2005. That's right, guys, from 02 to 05. Funny enough, I passed on a copy of 07. To get, I think it was 02. Um, I've heard really great things about 04. I haven't been able to play it. My computer is too updated. Uh, and due to a recent update for Microsoft, thank you, Microsoft, you bunch of assholes, I can no longer play NHL 05 on my computer. Um, so, yeah, it looks like eventually I'm either going to have to get a PS2 emulator, look to get an, a, a good quality computer to play NHL 05. 04, 03, 02, and 99, all these games on the PS2 emulator, or, or in 99's case, a PS1 emulator, um, or I can just go out and get a cheap Windows XP computer and play them on that, which would probably be the easier option. Uh, Pokemon Team Turbo, it's not that great. <laughs> um, I, I, I had fun with it from when I was a kid, I think. I'm not sure, though. Poker Superstars 2 Invitational Tournament, I kind of enjoy some poker it's fun i want to get into it rugrats in paris the movie i lost the actual big box case to it so all i have is the cd jewel case sniper art of victory spongebob squarepants employee of the month yes this was a dollar i think i got this in the any and the 
NES and the NHL games at the same time, but Employee of the Month, very happy to have that. The Muppets, uh, the, bump, the Muppets in Spy Muppets License to Croak. This is a fun game from what I remember. It's incredibly easy, though. Uh, the Incredibles, PC, CD-ROM, um, Print Studio. I don't know why I own this. I think this is one of the things I actually got when, if you guys watch my DVD collection in the beginning of the box sets, I said during the Jurassic Park trilogy, I said I got something else. With that, and you'd see it in the video game collection. This is what I got, I think. I don't know why I got this. And actually, I didn't even notice. Um, I didn't even notice that I think you needed a program with this. You needed a program to even to even use this disc. So it kind of sucks. But, meh, I'll try it eventually. Then next up, we've got uh, the Political Machine. This is the first ever Political Machine, I think. Uh, I kind of want to try and get a new Political Machine game if they have one for 2020, if not 2016 or whenever the, the newest one was. Because um, it seems fun. It seems like an interesting game. I might want to go through with it. Tornado Jockey. This is a kind of interesting game. You chase tornadoes. I want to see if it works. Because if it does, I definitely want to play it. It's another one of those games by Mumbo Jumbo. So, yeah. Those are all the PC games. I'm going to be right back and we're going to get through all four generations of PlayStation. I don't have any handhelds, so it's just going to be the main home consoles. I'll be right back in just a minute. And we're back. Um, I, I have the Microsoft and the Nintendo games here. I am going to go through them. Uh, I've decided I've made an executive decision pre-post, post-pre-production. Uh, that I'm going to put the PlayStation games at the end because I share some fun things during that and I figure end there because it's probably the best section of the video. You guys might notice that my hair is also different from the segment I just recorded, the PC games, and it's also going to be different from the PlayStation games because it's a completely different day where we're going to act like it's the same day. Uh, so the Nintendo games, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the handhelds, um, then I'm going to go to the main consoles by decade or not decade but by generation then we're going to do the same thing with the xbox and pretty much the same thing we're going to do with the playstation go playstation one two three four uh so game boy advance we've got backyard sports football 2007 i don't know why <laughs> i own so many of the backyard sports games but i might have to go through and play them eventually next up we've got chicken little on game boy advance oh yeah these are game boy advance first by the way um I don't know why, or not, I don't know why. Well, actually, I, I know why I own this, because I was interested in it as a kid. But I don't know why I bought this for my, I think it was like my 10th birthday or something like that. But inside, this came with it. It was Grand Theft Auto for the Game Boy Advance, so that was pretty cool. And I had this one beforehand. This is technically my first Game Boy Advance game. Tony Hank, Tony Hawk's uh, Pro Skater 2. This is the one I think everyone says is the best Tony Hawk, but uh, I only have it on the Game Boy Advance because... Yeah, um, I got that for free. Very happy. And speaking of my 10th birthday, no, 9th birthday, it was 2011, yeah, my 9th birthday, I ended up getting Cars 2 on the Nintendo DS, and I paid $30. I don't know why I was that dumb, but, uh, but yeah, I, I spent $30 of birthday money on Cars 2 on the DS, um, I never even got to the racing. I, I, I never really got to any of the, the races that's are, that are in this game. I might have to review that one day. I don't know. I don't know. Being surrounded by all the video games, it's it's bringing back memories of 2011 when I f started my first YouTube channel. Uh, the uh, the Junior Rocks 2012 channel when I was doing the good game reviewer with the, the game reviews. Honestly, I kind of want to go back and, and maybe do that. Maybe, re maybe, maybe I'll revive the good game reviewer. In some way or some way, shape or form in the future. Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. This is actually a pretty fun one from what I remember. I enjoyed playing that one very much as a kid. It was quite fun. Drawn to Life Spongebob Squarepants Edition. I think I have. No, I don't. Damn it. But Drawn to Life Spongebob Squarepants Edition. This is a pretty fun game uh, from the two minutes I played of it. I'm a terrible drawer, so I'm not good at Drawn to Life. Next up, we've got Grand Theft Auto. That's the first time that's happened in a while on video. Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars. Um, I'm opening all these just because I feel like there's one game that I'm not showing. And actually speaking of, I'm going to have to leave real quick in a second to get the little bag of DS because there's a few games uh, in that. But Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars. 
it's kind of fun. I have the PSP version on my computer. I have the DS version, obviously, as well. It's pretty fun. I quite enjoy it. I believe this is the most recent Guitar uh, DS game I, I own. Guitar Hero on Tour, and yes, it comes with the the button. I did not get this for $5. I got originally just the cartridge for $2. But the guy, I, I came back, and the guy said, you know what, you can, you can have the, the box version. Um, so yeah, so it comes with the, the two little stylus picks. I'm pulling this out because this is actually pretty cool. Uh, it's got the the actual thing here, the the DS thing, and then the cartridge is, is in there. And then it comes with a bunch of, how many, one, two, three, oh, stickers. Yo, that's sick, I didn't realize it came with stickers. And it comes with more stickers that are already used. This thing comes with five inserts. That is really weird. It comes with five inserts. But, um, I don't know. I think that's pretty cool. I, I think it's a pretty cool box set. And getting it for only $5, Guitar Hero on tour, I think it's it's probably worth it. Uh, Jam Sessions. This does not come in a DS case. It is instead in a regular uh, blank DVD case. Um, so there's the cartridge. Once I'm able to get a, a good, like, actual DS case, then I'll be able to, um, then my, then my DS collection can be complete for the time being. I only bought that because of the creepy Easter egg that's apparently in there, but it was debunked, so, yeah. Nicktoons Attack the Toy Bots, this, I, this one I quite enjoyed. It was pretty fun from what I remember. Uh, not too much, though, from what I remember. Shrek Fred Raptor the Final Chapter. I do not remember playing this on the DS. I oddly enough don't remember that one too much. Shrek Ogres and Dronkies. Um, this was really weird. I don't really remember playing it all that much, but from what I remember, it was interesting. SpongeBob SquarePants the Yellow Avenger. Another pretty. I don't think I ever actually played this one. Yeah. This is one of the SpongeBob games I owned that I never did end up playing, and it's not in here because I remembered it's in the big case over there. This one my sister got me in a very nice of her, I think 10 years ago actually. Wizards of Wiverly Place. I remember playing this one very loosely. I very, very loosely remember playing this one. Um, so actually, yeah, before we get to the 3DS, before we get to the 3DS games, I'm going to go grab the little DS bag if I can find it. Um, actually, it might be over here. I forget where it is. Oh, wait, it's right here. I don't need to go anywhere actually. It is because it's, it's right here. It's on top of my printer. So we just grab this, and yes, those are all my headphones and whatnot. So I'm actually just going to put that there. And this is actually my DS bag. My parents got this for me. I forget where, but uh, it's pretty cool. It's got Mario on the front, obviously, if you guys have eyes. Yeah. Uh, this is actually something I really, really like as well about it. It comes with a little Super Mario zipper, which is I, I, li I think that's a really cool attention to detail. Um... Yeah, so my three my three DS is in here. My DSs are in here. My mine and my sister's they're both broken, so I need to get those fixed. Um, but yeah, so the games we got in here is uh, our Battles Prince of Persia. I'm not gonna edit any any of this out in case someone's interested by it. Brain Age Two, more training in minutes a day. Uh, these two. This one, I think, I actually... No, this one came with Battle, Battles, Prince of Persia, Need for Speed, Most Wanted. So I own two copies of Need for Speed, Most Wanted. Uh, they actually came in this. My dad got these. and it, or My dad got these accidentally at a yard sale. They are at a yard sale. They got something. This was in, like, a toolbox. And, yeah. This I got from a friend of mine for free. Uh, Raymond Raving... Raymond Raving Rabbids. Um... And then this is the one I was telling you guys about. Uh, or th this is the one I thought was in Spongebob. It is Spongebob vs. The Big One Beach Party Cook-Off. You guys can't really see it. I'm missing two DS games in my collection. Super Mario 64 and New Super Mario Bros. DS. I know who stole them from me. Because someone did steal them from me. I seem to have a lot of shit stolen from me for some reason. I'll just put that up there. But um, but yeah, if, if they're for some reason watching this, I want them back. On to the 3DS games, we've got Super Mario 3D Land, along with a game that was actually given to me. I get I get weird, low-budget games given to me quite often from former friends now. Mario and Sonic at the London 2012 Olympic Games. Uh, 
that was quite fun. I quite enjoyed it. Uh, Super Mario 3D Land, I really enjoyed. Um, I really do enjoy it. It's a fun game. Um, nostalgia probably clouds it a little bit, but uh, it's quite enjoyable. This one I've never played, but once I'm able to get a 3DS fixed, because I'd rather get my 3DS fixed rather than my DS because it plays both of them, um, I, I definitely have to play this one. Or I can just play the N64 original, but The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D. Um, yeah. Really, really should play this game. I've heard nothing but great things about Legend of Zelda. And, uh, yeah. I've, I've heard it's pretty interesting. Sorry I'm off camera. I'm just adjusting everything that's on the table right here. So now we're going to get into the, um, into the Nintendo main console games. I only have six between the NES and, and Nintendo 64. Well, NES, SNES, and Nintendo 64. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show these, I'm going to show these off. I'm going to put them in the pile. And then from GameCube, Wii, and Wii U, we're going to put them on the floor. I don't have any Switch games because nothing on the Switch has really interested me until Super Mario All-Stars. But yeah, on the NES, we've got Gyromite, which is... A very, very weird game. You need Rob the Robot. I don't own Rob the Robot. I just got that because it was kind of cool. It was a trade-off. I had an extra copy of Super Mario... Uh, Super Mo uh, Not Super Mario. Uh, Guitar Hero 3 on PS2. A former, Another former friend of mine wanted it. So uh, she said... She sent me a picture on Facebook. She was like, alright, pick two things. Or uh, I'll be, I'll do two things. Just uh, I'll take Guitar Hero 3. Picked Gyromite and I picked another NES game that you're gonna see in a minute. But uh, this one came with the NES that I got. It was, of course, Super Mario Bros. and Duck Hunt. I think everyone owns this game. Um, you can find this for like 25 cents, I'm sure, at this point. But uh, Mario Bros. Duck Hunt and it came in this cool little Nintendo sleeve, which I do really like. It is pretty interesting. And then the other game I traded Guitar Hero 3 for, so it's, like I said, I had two copies of it, is. Super Team Games, which requires the power pad, but I don't have it yet. But, uh, pretty interesting. Then we get to the Super Nintendo games. I believe both of these I got at the same time at a, uh, giant flea market. It was WWF Super WrestleMania and, and, and WWF WrestleMania, the arcade game. I played these very slightly, only because, like I said, the Retron, or not like I said, but, uh, uh, the Retron that I own, which is the reason I got these, the Retron controllers are crap. I, I need to get a, a regular SNES controller. Those things you literally have to point at the console for them to use. They're like a TV remote except 18 times worse. Um, and then the one Nintendo 64 game I own is actually really cool because it's in the box. It is WWF Attitude. I don't know why I decided to get this. It was $10. It was definitely overpriced. But um, it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool owning... Something that's WWF rather than WWE. Um, but yeah, um, pulling it out. This is actually the first time I've seen a Nintendo 64 cartridge. or when I got From when I got this game. It was the first time I had seen a Nintendo 64 cartridge. God, in probably seven years at that point. Last time I saw it was when I was at a friend's house. Uh, I had a lot of friends. Keyword being had. <laughs> no, but uh, it, or, it was actually technically, I think it was my cousin's house. Um, they had a 64, they had Conker's Bad Third Fur Day, they had a couple N64 games. This is before I really started appreciating video games, and I was just, Mario, let's go. They were big Mario fans as well, it's just, they were, they were a few years older, so they, they, they were more mature, and they understood video games, and the rarities of them. Um, there we go, it closes. But WWF Attitude, really hoping to get a Nintendo 64 eventually, either that, or just get a better PC to be able to have... I think my dream eventually is to either get a bunch of consoles like Nintendo 64, SNES, NES, stuff like that. Kind of have like what James Rolfe has where he has a the whole room dedicated to his games and he's got different adapters and whatnot. That'll take a lot though. Or what's more likely to happen, I just get a a, a more powerful PC than, than the one I have now. Save up for a powerful PC. Just be able to get any emulator that... Em, em, emulate, emulator that I want on on it so yeah because then that way takes up less of the space even though I would still collect N64 games to an extent they would be pretty cool just something like Mario 64 get the basic games that aren't too expensive but uh just be able to get ROMs and whatnot so or, I mean uh only get the games that I own legally of course Mario 64 and WWF Attitude being the only ones that I can think of right now that I would actually own wink wink um, 
<laughs> no, but seriously, uh, we're going to get into the uh, GameCube Wii and Wii U games. I've already been recording for 13 minutes, which is really surprising. I'm going to do the Wii uh, Nintendo games, the rest of the Nintendo games. Then I'm going to pause, do the Xbox games. Then I'm going to wrap up the video with the PlayStation games. So, yeah, we've got 007 Nightfire, Burnout, Crazy Taxi, Luigi's Mansion. Really happy to own Luigi's Mansion. Funny enough, this game, I think, goes for like... $20 on eBay now and I got it for free. I got it from one of my former friends Like I said for some reason my former friends just loved giving me games for some reason. I was like, hey I don't play this anymore. You can have it. It's like, okay. Thank you <laughs> I don't think half of them even knew I, I was a game collector I think they were just like hey you have interest in this game. You can take it but Luigi's Mansion I got from a friend for free uh, Crazy Taxi Burnout 007. Uh, we actually got from a family friend. They gave us their GameCube for a bit and then I forget what happened. <laughs> Crazy Taxi, I remember playing a little bit. I always remember doing the challenge mode or whatever it was. I get, uh, The Crazy Box mode, I think it is. Um, I always remember playing that. It was pretty fun. Burnout was kind of fun. 007 Nightfire, I never really got past the first mission, but it was fun playing the first mission every single time I wanted to play 007. Um, then we've got Metroid Prime 1 and 2. I'm very happy to own these games. Um... Well, even though Metroid Prime 2 is just a bonus disc, Metroid Prime is the game that's in this set. Uh, really happy to own such a critically acclaimed game and having never played it. Uh, NASCAR Chase for the Cup 2005. Um, really fun game. Uh, probably the most fun racing game that I remember playing. Um, yeah. Need for Speed Hopper Suit 2. I own two copies of this because I think I said I have the PS2 version, I think. Spoiler for later on in the video. But, um, but yeah, then next up we've got Smashing Drive and Spy Hunter. Funny enough, the only two GameCube games I own that don't have the little, little knob here, the little square thingy. I don't know what those are for. Smashing Drive is incredibly fun from what I remember. I don't remember the objective of it, but it's pretty cool. Spy Hunter was another game I never got past the opening mission, but it was fun playing it over and over again. Then next up we've got Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon and Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell. Never played these ones. Um, might be fun eventually. It might be fun eventually. And then the last two GameCube games I own are WWE Day of Reckoning and WWE WrestleMania 19. I think I think Mania 19 is actually the most recent game I've gotten on the GameCube. And uh, I, I do like that. The disc art is in the, the style of the World Heavyweight Championship. Um... I've played a slight bit of 19. It's kind of fun. Have not played Dave Reckoning yet, though. So, yeah. Uh, need to check that one out. On to the Wii games. We've got ACDC Live Rock Band Track Pack. I do own Rock Band 2. Spoiler, you're going to see that in a bit. But, um, yeah. I, I did not realize uh, it actually does not require Rock Band to play. It apparently doesn't require Rock Band. I thought... I, I don't know if it's just the PS3 and 360, or if it's one of them, but I, f I feel like I remember hearing that one console or another required Rock Band 2, like you had to install it into Rock Band 2 or something, but yeah. Cars, I got this for my birthday from one of my sisters, very, very happy as I do enjoy some cars on the Wii, I need to go back and play it eventually. Uh, Dance Dance Revolution Hottest Party, I do have the dance pad for this. Who knows? Maybe at a certain goal, if ever I can get a Wii capture card, maybe I'll maybe I'll do some type of Dance Dance Revolution stream eventually. Who knows? Def Jam Rap Star, um, Destroy All Humans, Big Willie Unleashed. I got this from one of my uncles for Christmas, and it's kind of fun from what I remembered. Um, never really played much of it, but I definitely do want to play it now that I'm older. DJ Hero and DJ Hero Two. Yes, I did get DJ Hero for ten a, a dollar, not ten cents, a dollar. DJ Hero 2, this is what came with the DJ pad, or the DJ equipment thingy. Uh, really fun games, actually. I, I played them, I want to say a year ago, uh, revisiting them for the first time in two years. It's quite fun. I really enjoy some some DJ Hero. It's it's enjoyable. Uh, I can't live with myself knowing I have Game Party 2 in one of these cheap little EB Games cases, but it's kind of cool that I do own one of them. It's kind of cool. And, of course, the... Is the writing in the cakes or 
No, okay, good. It is on the actual thing. It's on the actual sleeve. Um, or not the actual sleeve. It's on the actual paper. Yeah. Um, that's funny. You look at other Wii games, and the fucking logo for Game Party 2 is going to stand out like crazy. Glacier 3, The Meltdown. Uh, my mom got this for me from a, a giant tiger. I've not played much of it, but it seems like a fun little uh, Twisted Metal type ripoff, but it looks fun. Hollywood Squares. I got this for $2. You guys are wondering how I got, how I have so many Wii games and just games in general. EB Games. They'll have a bunch of games at like a dollar, three dollars, five dollars. I just pick up a lot of what they have there for, for cheap. And you'll find some really good games for cheap at EB Games as well. I, there's like two games in particular that I will show in the 360 games that I was like really surprised they had for cheap. And spoiler alert for a section later on. Play at PlayStation 3 Infamous. The fact that was two dollars. That's that's still really shocking to me. Um, Iron Man. I I've heard the Iron Man game is terrible. Um, I don't remember when I got this. I want to say it's been ten years. I want to say I've had this since 2010, but I'm not too sure. Lego Rock Band. I've heard it's actually really really fun. I uh, if you guys haven't yet, go check out Asai. Asai, uh, A C A I. Um, he makes really fun clone hero content and he did a rock, a walkthrough of you. It technically it is a rock through. He did. A, I'm going to say that he did a rock through of Lego rock band and it's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. Link's crossbow training. I do not have the crossbow accessory. Does it show? Uh, well, it's, it's apparently called the zapper, the Wii zapper. There you go. Um, I don't own the Wii zapper, but it's whatever, I guess. Looney Tunes Act Me Arsenal, never, never got heavily into this game, but that's whatever. Mario Kart Wii, I'm very happy I got this game for free as well. Some of these games came with the uh, the Wii, the second Wii we got, that was free. Uh, but Mario Part Kart Wii, I'm very happy. This game is like $30, $40 still at retail, and I got it for free. So I'm, I'm happy about that. <laughs> um, Medal of Honor Heroes 2. My Sims Kingdom, New Super Mario Bros. Wii, this came with the first Wii, sucks, same thing that happened to the Mario Galaxy soundtrack, spoiler for the CD collection video, happened to the New Super Mario Bros. Wii, but um, yeah, it's whatever. Oh, then we're getting to the NHL games I own. I'm spoiling it, but there's four, and I'm very happy about one of them. NHL 2K9, Rick Nash, alright, whatever. NHL 2K10 with Alex Ovechkin. NHL Slapshot with Wayne Gretzky. I'm missing one. This is probably the game I am the most proud of owning right now. I think it might be the rarest video game I own. NHL 2K11 with Ryan Kessler on the cover. This game was a Wii exclusive. This game was a Wii exclusive after, for some reason, 2K9 and 2K10 completely flopped for some reason. Um, I'm not saying that it's sarcasm. I genuinely don't know why these games flopped. They were really, really good arguably better than the EA games coming out at the time, and much better than the current EA games. To a certain extent, franchise mode in these games are incredibly broken. I hate the trading system especially. The current trading system, while it is still flawed, is much better. But 2K11 isn't... I, I've never played this. I've never played this. Um, unfortunately, it did not come sealed. It did not come sealed, but uh, you guys would be surprised with, from what I remember, how rare this game is, I got it for a dollar. That's right. I got this at a pawn shop. The pawn shop I used to frequent all the time. This is one of the final things I ever got from that place. I walked in, looking at the DVDs or whatever, went to the games, scanning, and then all of a sudden I saw 2K11 and I was like, holy shit. And I pulled it out and I was like, yep, this is what I'm getting today. Because I knew how rare this game was. I didn't tell them. I didn't tell them at all. I just handed it to them. I was like, alright, that'll be $5 because I think I got something else. But, it, like, the fact that I own this game and I got it for a dollar is is nuts. NHL 2K11, very happy to own this in my in my collection. Um, very happy to own it. Next up, we've got uh, Per Pals. We'll just pretend like I don't own that. Racket Sports, Rock Band 2. Told you guys I owned it. Oh, this is one of my favorite Wii games. SpongeBob SquarePants featuring Nicktoon's Globs of Doom. This is such a fun game. If you guys can track down a copy of this, I don't know if it's also on DS, but only get it on the Wii. Only get the Wii version. The Wii version is the best, at least in my opinion. Uh, really, really love the Wii version. 
Uh, Summer Athletes, The Ultimate Challenge. Then we've got arguably the best duo of games I've ever played personally. I think he, I think this is the best duo of games. Super Mario Galaxy and Super Mario Galaxy 2. These games are fantastic. I cannot speak enough good things about the Super Mario Galaxy. Uh, I, I wish I could say franchise, but it's only the two games. They've never released Mario Galaxy DS, which would have been awesome. Mario Galaxy 3, which I'm really surprised they didn't release. Uh, especially considering the Switch is out now, and they could definitely do it with the Switch. Um, but Mario Galaxy 1 and 2, very, very happy about these games. Very enjoyable. Really, really love those games. Definitely want to do a walkthrough of them. If either I can get a Wii capture card and hook it up to here, or the more likely option, I get a more powerful PC, I get a Wii emulator, and I find a way to connect a Wii and Nunchuck, because apparently that's that's able to happen. So, eventually. It'll happen eventually. I promise you guys. Super Smash Bros. Brawl. This is a very entertaining game from what I remember. Surf's up. Surf's up. Naked Brothers Band, the video game. I, I own too many copies of this game. Uh, PC, Wii, spoiler, PS2. Yeah. Uh, the Price is Right 2010 edition. Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2011. Um, some fun games in there. Some fun games. Yeah, I'm going to start putting these down in the side and, and down there. TMNT. We play. We fit. Pl what the? Oh, no. Oh no! Oh no! We Wheel of Fortune. We fit. We fit plus. We play, and I just realized I messed up big time with the styling of these games, because those were not supposed to come up. It was supposed to be TMNT. I'm not gonna edit any of this out. And then it's UFC Personal Trainer, the Ultimate Fitness System. Um, I paid ten dollars for this. I don't know why. Don't don't ask me why because you're probably not gonna get an answer. Mostly because I genuinely don't know why I paid ten dollars for this. Um, I think it was really just kind of the novelty of it, but um. But yeah, so then we got Wheel of Fortune, which is really fun, admittedly. We Fit and We Fit Plus, which are enjoyable, pretty fun games. We Play, which is We Play. Then we've got not one but two copies of We Sports, which is. Probably the most known video game in the world. And Wii Sports Resort, which is kind of fun. I quite enjoy it. And then we've got the final uh, games on the list. We have got WWE 12. WWE SmackDown was brought 2008. 2009 with custom cover. 2011. And Your Shape featuring Jenny McCarthy. This came with... The Wii, um, the second Wii that we owned, um, yeah, what a final stack of games right there, guys, what a final stack of games, um, so yeah, those are all the Wii games, I'm gonna get into the few Wii U games I own, like I said, then I'm gonna pause, I'm gonna come back, do the Xbox games, uh, and then we're gonna go into the PlayStation games, the outro, and the video's gonna o be over, and then we're gonna get through some more 25 Days of Harry. So we've got New Super Mario Bros. U and New Super Luigi U, which is pretty much the same game. The only difference being uh, one is with Mario and the other doesn't have Mario. Apparently it's literally the same game. It's either the same game, just Luigi is in the game, or super, or New Luigi U is just an add-on to Mario Bros. U with some new levels, and Mario is not playable, I, don't, I think. I forget exactly what, but uh, I quite enjoyed these. I quite enjoyed these as a kid. I think I'd enjoy them now if I were to replay them. So yeah, um, like I said guys, I'm going to pause here, I'm going to get to the Xbox games, then we'll end with the PlayStation games, so I will be right back. And we're back! So we're here doing the Xbox games, I'm going to get right into them, we got Xbox, Xbox 360, a little bit of Xbox One, and then we are going to get into the PlayStation games, like I said, we've got Fight Night Round 2, as I mentioned in the PlayStation segment, spoiler alert, I hope they make a Fight Night Round 4. <laughs> You're, you're going to see why that's ridiculous in a little bit. But uh, Fight Night Round 2, Grand Theft Auto 3, very, very bad by today's standards, in my opinion. Vice City, which is better. Unfortunately, I don't own San Andreas. But funny enough, Vice City did come with a little thing of cheats. So they're in French, so I can't read what they... I don't know what they mean, but it's cheat codes for San, for Vice City, which is pretty cool. I like that. Legends of Wrestling 2, which for some reason is in a GameCube case, so 
Or it's in a... Oh, no, it's not. It's it's in a GameCube Xbox case. Um, it's in a Nintendo Xbox case, which is... That's just cursed all over it. Um, yeah, I don't know why I paid $5 for this. Um, but, yeah. MTV Celebrity Deathmatch, which is just a really bad game. I, I have to do a video on that eventually. NBA Live 03... NBA Live 05, without the case, but still technically sealed. Um, yeah, they were a dollar each. I buy a lot of sports games that are a dollar, so just be warned. Uh, NBA 2K Live 06, so three out of four years I got NBA Live 06, or NBA Live. Then we've got NHL 2002, which is a really, really fun game. I think the most recent NHL, not NHL, the most recent Xbox game I've played both as an Xbox game and an NHL game, it's incredibly fun. Really happy I got that for a dollar. Um, then I'm going to grab the rest of the Xbox games. We've got Sega GT 2002 and Jet Set Radio Future, which I've heard is a really, really good soundtrack. Need to play both these games, though. I need to play them eventually. Simpsons Road Raid, which I thought was hit and run. But, um, yeah, it's Crazy Taxi. This is the Crazy Taxi one. And weirdly, when you open the, the game, not the game, the case, it smells like weed. Or at least it used to. Thankfully, the smell is kind of drowned out now. Then we got the three games I own. Uh, I'm going to put them in order, but I will put them back in order. WWF Raw, WWE Raw 2, and WWE WrestleMania 21. I'm glad I own the three wrestling games that are on Xbox. Two out of the three suck. And then the other one is Raw 2, which is really good. Raw 2 is one that's really enjoyable. Mania 21 is too slow. WWF Raw just plain sucks. I'm going to have to do a video on WWF Raw eventually. Then we get into the 360 games. Be prepared, guys. We're going to be here for a while. Um, All Pro Football 2K. You wouldn't be surprised to know I spent a dollar on that because it's a sports game. Alone in the Dark. I think this was $2 at a yard sale. I'm really happy because not only did I get the version with the game, not only am I happy I got the game, but... The soundtrack, which is actually not that bad, apparently. I've listened to a few tracks. It is solid. But uh, I am happy I did get the version with the soundtrack. Sorry, I'm just fixing the cover. Um, there we go. But yeah, uh, Alone in the Dark. Really happy I own this game. I don't know what happened to the cover for it to be this way. It wasn't like that two minutes ago. Okay. Um... <laughs> Angry Birds Trilogy, this is a fun, enjoyable game. I think this was like $5, I forget, but Angry Birds Trilogy. Army of Two, I've not played it, but I've heard it's pretty solid. Backyard Sports Rookie Rush, I don't know why I own so many Backyard Sports games. Then we've got Battlefield 3, this was $3. Um, Bionic Commando, I regret paying $5 for this. Cabela's Big Game Hunter 2010. Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, Call of Duty Black Ops, Call of Duty Black Ops 2, and uh, yeah, I don't know why I own four Call of Duty games. This one was given to me, this one I think was given to me, this one was given to me, and this one I bought for like $2. Oh, that's where this piece of shit has been. No, no, off, right now. This is staying in the video, guys. I'm killing something live on, on camera. I'm a murderer. I'm a murderer. No, you get back here. You get back here. You get back here. Boom. I just killed something on stream. Or on video. Not on video, but... It's dead now. Get, get, get out of here, son. Yeah! But, uh, yeah, I don't know why I own so many, um, Xbox, not Xbox games, that too, technically, but I don't know why I own so many Call of Duty games. Um, that thing was crawling on me earlier, that's why I killed it, by the way. I left it alive for, like, a week, week and a half, and then when it decides to start crawling on me, oh, it stinks now. When it starts to, when it decides to start crawling on me, then that's when I kill it. Dance Central. Don't ask me why I bought this game. Def Jam Rap Star. It's not too bad. Defiance. I own this game for free on my PS3. I decided to get it on my 360. Why? I don't really know. Uh, Dirt. I, uh, yeah, Dirt. I've not played it much. 
Don King presents Prize Fighter for four dollars. This is really good. If any of you guys have the chance to buy this game for cheap, get it because it's pretty solid. I quite like it. Duke Nukem Forever for Xbox. I also own this on the PC. Um, it allegedly came with a 3D poster and glasses inside. But hey, what do you know? None of that is inside the game case. Um, yeah. Um, but yeah. Aragon, this was also $3. Like I said, guys, I buy a bunch of games from EB Games. They're a dollar, three dollars, five dollars. Yeah. FIFA Soccer 08, this was also three dollars. Alright, guys, real quick, I'm actually gonna open a window real quick just because. FIFA Soccer 13. FIFA 15. Um, I don't know why. For, for $20, FIFA 15 was kind of overpriced, I'll admit now. Um. FIFA Street 3, this is an interesting game, very interesting. Fight Night Champion, fantastic game. Fight Night Champion is the best boxing game I've ever played. It's got a fantastic story mode. Everything about this game is really, really good. And I was really, really happy when Bardown mentioned this in their uh, their top 10 sports games of all time list. I was really happy. I was like, you know, what? what would, would there be a boxing game on here? And then they said Fight Night Champion. I was, I was going nuts. Fight Night Round 3 for $3, it's worth it. And I think Fight Night Champion, I think I paid $5 for that. That's incredibly worth it. We got Formula 1 2011, Forza Horizon, and the special limited edition Steelbook. That's pretty sick. Forza Motorsport 3, the only thing I hate about this is that it's in this case, which makes you think it's a, which makes you think it is a, uh, makes you think it's a PC game. But then you open it up, and nope, it's an Xbox game. So, uh, so yeah. Oh yeah, and this 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 also came. This is one of the games that came with uh, a little card. You get one month free on Xbox Live. But I'm sure it was already used by uh, one of the previous owners. So, uh, but that that is still pretty cool. Forza Motorsport Three in a special limited edition case. Um, Forza Motorsport Four. Gears of War and Gears of War 2. These are the two games that I was incredibly surprised. They were $3 each. Um, from what I've heard, Gears of War and Gears of War 2 are some of the best Xbox games, and especially Xbox exclusives. Very, very happy I was able to get both Gears of War. Uh, yeah. Grand Theft Auto 4. Grand Theft Auto 4 and Episodes from Liberty City. Grand Theft Auto 5 and San Andreas. This is the worst this is the worst this is the worst version of San Andreas to get. Do I still have this in GTA 5? Yeah, I do. I want to show this real quick though. I do have I have my own cheat code thing for GTA 5. I did a little cheat code list and uh Oh my god, I remember. I remember I did a little thing back when uh NHL 15 was like the new the the only NHL game I was I was uh I was playing, and I remember I did 25 to 4 Canadians over Sabres, 21 to 6 over the Islanders, 31 or 37 12 over Arizona. And I think that was 41 3 over Calgary. Those were all games from the uh, NHL 15 when I was with the Canadians, predicting every game the Canadians were going to win by. Uh, but yeah, and then San Andreas, like I said, this is the worst version of San Andreas to get. Mostly because of so many glitches that were not fixed. They were not fixed in the 360 version. The PS3 version at least kind of had updates. San Andreas on the 360, and especially for someone like me, since I don't have Xbox Live, it's terrible. It is a god-awful port of... It is it's just a, a very, very bad video game overall, the 360 version. And it's made even worse... Because of all the bugs that are in the game. Or it's made even... Yeah, it's made even worse. Then we've got Guitar Hero 2. Which, surprisingly, I found this for only $5. Which I was really surprised about. Guitar Hero 3, which I've bought in two copies of this for a combined, like, $5. Smash Hits, which was $10. And then World Tour, which came with my big lot of three six of uh, Guitar Hero games that I do not have no longer. And then Gun, which for $5 is a really, really good... Um, Really, really good shoot 'em up in the uh, Wild Wild West. 
So, uh, yeah. Then we've got Halo 3, the big kind of collector's set. That was $10, so it was kind of worth it a little bit. Little did I know I would get a 360 less than a year later after getting that. Next up, we've got Lego Indiana Jones, The Original Adventures, and Kung Fu Panda. This is kind of interesting. My apologies. It's a really cool double pack. So, yeah. Lucha Libre, AAA, uh, Heroes del Ring, uh, Madden NFL 10, Madden NFL 11, which for some reason has that weird finished it, trade it thing on the back of it. But Madden NFL 10 was $2. NFL 11 was a dollar. I'm going to pull these right here real quick. We've got Madden NFL 20, which would you guys believe this was a dollar? That's right. I ended up getting this for a dollar. Madden NFL 09, Madden NFL 09, NFL head coach 09, and, oh, it's over here, and a bonus disc, which technically I should have gotten with it. I ended up having to get an additional case with it, but, um, yeah. This is pretty cool, though. This is something I like. It's got the history of the Madden games from 01 all the way to, I think it's 09? Yeah, 09. Well, technically, it's got all the way from 89 all the way up to, um, 2008 when Brett Favre was on the cover. Brett Favre? The fuck Brett Favre? Oh, it means Madden NFL 09. Okay, yeah, but that, that is really cool. That is personally really, really awesome. I do enjoy some good old collector sets and uh, Madden NFL 09. Madden NFL 20 is one of them. And then we've got Madden NFL 25, which was a dollar. Would you believe it or not? <laughs> and then we've got Major League Baseball 2K, which did not come with a uh, Jose uh, Jose Rev, uh, Riaz, uh bobblehead. So, yeah. NASCAR 09, which surprisingly is still sealed. I'm really surprised I've not opened this yet, but uh, I kind of like that. NBA 2K9 with Kevin Garnett. Uh, NBA 2K16 with I don't know who on the cover. Oh, that's uh, Anthony Davis. Yeah, that's Anthony Davis. And then we've got NBA Baller Beats, which... Requires a basketball. I've never heard of a Kinect game that you need a basketball to play with. Um, yeah, come on, where is it? Where is it? It tells you it needs a basketball somewhere in the game. I forget where. But yeah, you need a basketball to play this. Um, yeah. NBA Ballers Chosen One. NBA Live 06. For $2, this was really good. Uh, Need for Speed Undercover. And then we get into all of the uh, games I own on the PS, uh, the Xbox 360 for NHL. Uh, I don't think it's as many as the PS3. It might be. It might be a little more, actually. NHL 7 with Alex Ovechkin on the cover. NHL 8 with Jordan Stahl on the cover. NHL 9 with Dion Phaneuf on the cover. NHL 10 with Jonathan Taze on the cover. NHL 11 with Patrick Kane on the cover. Reverse or whatever. NHL 12 with Steven Stamkos on the cover. NHL 13 with Claude Giroux on the cover. NHL 14 with Martin Brodeur on the cover. NHL 15 with Patrice Bergeron on the cover. NHL 2K6 with Matt Sundin on the cover. The American version was, I believe, Alesh Hemsky from the Dallas Stars. And NHL 2K with Jason Spetz on the cover. There, There's all of them except for one. I lied. We'll get to it eventually. NHL 07. Uh, really enjoy this game. NHL 07 is pretty good. I think it's an interesting uh, first tale for the Xbox EA games. The EA games on Xbox really, really like 07. Plus, it was the introduction of the still, uh, the still skit, the skill stick. NHL 08. I've not played it except for the PC version. NHL 09. Not played it except for the PC version. NHL 10. Really, really primitive compared to what the game would become just four years later. NHL 11. It's not bad. NHL 12, it's kind of fun. I enjoyed it a little bit. NHL 13, really surprised people praise this one as much as they do. I see it as a very lesser version of NHL 14. Possibly my favorite NHL game as well, I think. Um, I, I do think this one is much better, is a little bit better than NHL 07. Because for me, it's NHL 14 and 07. 07 mainly just the franchise mode. This franchise mode is amazing. I have an Islanders franchise mode. That, I've been, that I have going on, on and off whenever I want to play my 360. And, like, it's it's fantastic. I'm, like, in year 9 or year 10, and it's amazing. NHL 14 is great. NHL 15 with Patrice Bergeron on the cover, like I said. Um, arguably better than NHL 14. I've not gotten 10 years into a franchise mode like with that one, 
Mostly because both my copies are somehow scratched to hell. Uh, NHL 2K6, I mostly got this just for the th free 1000G it has. I just need to get one of the achievements. But uh, aside from that, it does seem fun. It was pretty fun from when I played it. And a uh, very happy to own a copy with Matt Sundin on the cover. NHL 2K, I've not played this one, but I was very happy to end up getting NHL 2K9 on the 360. Technically, I should just have it on the outside, but I put it inside just for safety. But NHL 09, or 2K9, I'm very happy to own this one as well. Hopefully, I'll get to play it eventually. Hopefully, I will. Those are all the NHL games I own on the 360. There we go. Um, hopefully, I'll get to get a 360 capture card or eventually get some type of powerful PC, get the PS3 versions and play those for you guys because I'd love to do something like that. I, I love the NHL franchise. Uh, loved the NHL franchise back on this generation of 360 and PS3. Um... But yeah, Peter Jackson's King Kong, the official game of the movie, probably the best video game title ever. Peter Jackson's King Kong, the official game of the movie. Um, Project Gotham Racing 4, Perfect Dark Zero for, th for $2. Funny enough, because it's M-rated, they called my parents into EB Games. I was underage at the time. I think I was 17. It was either 16 or 17. I think I was 17, though. But um, yeah, yeah, it must have been that. No. No, I must have been 16. I think it was two years ago. But I was in EB Games, browsing, whatever. Typic they've never really asked me because I've bought in... I think it was... I forget if it was GTA 4 or 5 or something. I bought one of the GTAs there, I'm pretty sure. But I've bought an M-rated game there before. And then... But for some reason, for this one, I don't know if it was new policy that they were introducing there or whatnot, but the person working there... Give this game to them. They're scanning it, whatever. And they're like, oh, is your uh, did, are your parents here? I was like, yeah. I was like, uh, how old are you? I was like, 16. I was like, uh, you're going to have to go get them. I, I can't give I can't sell you this game unless they you, yeah, they give they give me permission. So I had to go out, get mom and dad in. They approved. They looked around a little bit. And then I ended up getting Super Mario Galaxy. That's how I got my new copy of Mario Galaxy. So yeah, Perfect Dark Zero. I kind of have to thank for Super Mario Galaxy <laughs> again. Uh, Rapella Tournament Fishing. Used to play this one with my dad. Very fun. He's not dead or anything. We just haven't played it in a long time because my 360 is, it hasn't been downstairs in a long time. Um, Red Dead Redemption. I own this on PS3 as well. You're going to see that later. I still need to play that, but I want to get Red Dead Revolver first. Rock Band. Rock Band 2 and the greatest Guitar Hero ripoff. Rock Revolution, which was $2. Um, yeah. Rock Revolution, which is genuinely one of the worst games I've ever played. I need to do a video on Rock Revolution eventually. But yeah, you got the Rock Oomph series. Oh, okay, okay, there we go. Uh, Shadowrun for $3. Uh, the fact that you can play with Windows Vista gamers, is this? I think this might be the first ever attempt at cross-platform gaming, as far as I know. As far as I know. Skate 3, which is freaking hilarious. I love playing Skate 3. Uh, I gotta hook up my 360 and play it again eventually once I get a, a fully functional PS uh, Xbox controller. Spider-Man 3, it was $10. I don't care. It was worth it to relive some childhood memories. Star Wars uh, Connect, Superman Returns, for $5 it was worth it to relive some, to relive some childhood memories. The Beatles Rock Band, uh, Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion, and 5 Skyrim. I've not played them yet, surprisingly. I've heard how good they are. I just... I haven't bothered. I haven't bothered playing them yet. Uh, oh, yeah, then we're going to get to the WWE games pretty soon. We've got The Outfit. Tiger Woods PGA Tour 08 for $2. It was worth it. Tiger Woods PGA Tour 11 for a dollar. It was also kind of worth it. Uh, Tony Hawk's Project 8. I've not gotten past the tutorial. NHL uh, UFC 09 Undisputed and, and UFC Undisputed 2010. Say it with me now, guys. I got this for free from a friend uh, at school, actually. they I was asking them if they play any games. They were like, yeah, I play 360 a bit. And I was like, oh, what games you got? And they mentioned UFC. I was like, oh, cool, we should play it sometime. He was like, I don't really play it, man. I mean, if, if you want, you can have it. Do you have the game? I was like, no, nah, I got 09. And he said, I'll bring it to school tomorrow. I was like, oh, cool, cool. And this is when I was bringing what I had at the time as a, as a change jar. I brought it. I was like, hey, dude, you want it? I was like, nah, nah, I don't want anything. Take it. Just take it. And so I got UFC and Speed 2010 for free. That was pretty sick, I gotta admit. Thank you, uh, kid who I will not, not kid, teen I will not say your name of, because 
Uh, I totally didn't forget it. <laughs> I totally didn't forget his name. Uh, WWE 12. We're going to get into the WWE games now. But, um... Yeah, we got WWE 12. WWE 13. Is this the one? No, this is not the one. But, uh, WWE 13. Notice the 2K logo rather than THQ. Very happy to own this version. WWE 2K14. WWE 2K15. WWE 2K16. And WWE 2K17. Uh, I forget how I got this. I got this at EB Games. I got this at a yard at a flea market. I got this at EB Games. I got this at Walmart. I got this for Christmas. I know a lot of the origins of, of most of these games. Or I know where a lot of these games, where I got them. I don't know where the previous people got them, but I know where I got them. This one I'm incredibly happy to find because I found it after like six years of looking. WWE SmackDown vs. Raw 2007. This was $2. I was, they had two copies. I was debating picking them both up. Looking back, I should have, because the, the store I bought this had shut down shortly after. But, uh, S wait, why is, no, no. WWE Legends of WrestleMania, it's decent. SmackDown was Raw 2007. Like I said, guys, I'm very, very happy to own this game on the 360. Um, yeah. WWE SmackDown was Raw 2008, which I believe, yes, it also, this is the one that comes with the exclusive bonus disc. I need to find some type of sleeve for that. But SVR 08, SVR 09, SVR 2010, and SVR 2011. This is the one. This is the one that comes with the exclusive code for Stone Cold Steve Austin. It's the it's the 360 version. But 2010, and then 2008. Nope, tricked you. It's 2011. I got 08. I got this game. Didn't open it until we already paid for it. And checked it was, uh, it was 2011. But it was good because I needed 2011. So 08 was in the 11 case. And then 11 was in the 08 case. And then I'm going to show you guys the... Oh, those are all my 360 games. I'm going to show you the few Xbox One games I own. I own three. And then I'm going to show... And then we're going to go to the PC... The PS... The PlayStation games. And then we're going to get to the outro. So we got Bully Scholarship Edition. This is... I put this in my 360 games at first, but I was like, nah, it's more of an Xbox One game. It's more of an Xbox One port. Um, even though it is the... It literally is just the 360 disc. Um, I put it with the, the Xbox One games, because why not? Titanfall 2, I got this for $3 at the dollar store. And then WWE 2K15, which is the first only and last wrestling game I own on the Xbox One. $15, it was not worth it. <laughs> Actually, I'm lying. It kind of was. It kind of was for the memories it created for me and a close friend that have now departed. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that's going to do it for the Xbox games. We're going to get to the outro in just... Or not the outro. We're going to get to the PlayStation games. Then we're going to get to the outro. I will see you then. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. We're doing the PlayStation games now. I'm going to get right into them because I don't want to waste any of your time if you're watching this video. Thank you very much for doing that, by the way. So... We're going to get into the PlayStation games, uh, literal PlayStation games. Then we got PS2, PS3, and we're going to finish off with the PS4 games. PlayStation, we've got Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4. I think this is the only Pro Skater I have on a home console. One of the worst from what I remember hearing about, I think. Uh, WCW, NWO, Nitro in the original case. But interesting, and I've mentioned this, I think I mentioned this last year. Official US PlayStation Magazine, January 2000, number 28. Playable demos for NHL Faceoff 2000 and WCW Nitro are included along with NBA Basketball 2000, Dino Crisis, Army Men, Air Attack, and Tarzan. Why not? Tarzan. But um, WCW, NWO, Nitro, I think it was like $2 at a, at a flea market or a, some type of pawn shop. It was not great. <laughs> and then WWF Warzone, I think I also got this at a pawn shop. Um, it was probably like a dollar. It's not great. <laughs> but yeah, uh, those are the PlayStation games I own. I only own three, technically four. Um, so we're going to get into the PS2 games. So first off, we've got 50 Cent Bulletproof. This is um, in an interesting game. 50 Cent beats people up, so it's pretty interesting. And next up, we've got uh, Backyard Football 2006. And... Backyard Sports Baseball 2007. So, uh, yeah. Um, two of the Backyard Series, I think two? Yeah. Only two of the, ba the Backyard Sports Series I have on my PS2. 
these are interesting games. Uh, I, I quite am intrigued by the backyard sports series, honestly. They're 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 interesting. They're interesting games to look at. Um, Brunswick Pro Bowling. It's an interesting game. It's really messed up on the PSP though. The the visuals are really really messed up on the PSP version. You have a really hard time controlling the ball at first. Is is I have to do a video on it eventually once I get a, another working PS2 controller. But uh, Brunswick Pro, Pro Bowling, it's kind of fun on the PS2. Bully, this is a great game. Bully is a really, really great game. And if you have the greatest tits, you can feel all this. It's It kind of pops out. It's interesting. Uh, Bully's a really, really great game. If I can try and get a version on the PS4, if there is a version on the PS4, or if I can get a capture card from my PS3, Xbox 360. Surprise, this game was never released on the PS3, by the way. But if I can get a capture card that works with my 360 slash PS3, uh, then I would definitely love to do a playthrough of this game. Or I could just get it on PC. I think that would probably be much easier now that I think about it. Uh, Cabela's African Safari and Big Game Hunter 2005 Adventures. This is a very interesting game. Apparently, Big Game Hunter was $30 from wherever the, the person before me got this. I got these both for a dollar each. Um, because of the pawn shop I used to frequent, they would have a deal where PS2 games and whatever, they're $2 or whatever. Sports games, those were a dollar each, so I got some pretty good deals on some kind of rare games. You'll see one later. You'll see one especially later. Uh, Cars, the greatest hits uh, on PS2. I remember owning this version as a kid. Um, this disc is iconic, except the red border here was black. But uh, yeah, I always remember owning Cars on PlayStation 2. I think I got it when I was like three or four as a little kid. And I could, I always, I could never really beat it. <laughs> uh, there, I think, I think I would try and go on races. I'd ask my dad to get through the first race for me, so I would just drive around Radiator Springs. Fun times being a kid. I miss those. I want to go back to them. Doesn't anyone else? Uh, college hoops, NCAA 2K7. This is, I don't like the NCAA because they, uh, very corrupt, very corrupt NCAA. Disney Sing It. I. Uh, we're just gonna uh, skip past that like I don't own it. Uh, Dragon Ball Z B Budaki Ken Kenkashi Three Bukaki. There we go. Um, Drive Three R Driver Three. Um, yeah, this is not good. <laughs> this is not a good game at all. This game I remember when it first came out. Uh, people were so excited for this game. If you guys look up uh, look up Driver Three Gate, look up Driver Three Gate scandal on YouTube. Um, it's an incredibly interesting situation what happened with Driver Three. It's it's really interesting. Go check it out. Larry Bundy Jr. made a great video on the topic. Uh, ESPN NBA Two K Five, and I believe I have this one as well. If I could pull it out, there you go. ESPN NHL Two K Five with Vinny uh, Marty Saint Louis uh, on the cover. I I couldn't tell you who's on the cover of NBA. 2k5 but uh double espn nhl uh, w double espn game uh very weird they didn't put the nhl logo on this game uh considering they clearly got the rights to the nhl and the nhlpa and the nhlpa logo is even on the back right there but um i think i remember playing espn nhl 2k5 i think i liked it i forget though but yeah it's pretty cool owning the first uh nhl game now that I think about it, these should probably be under NHL and NBA 2K5 rather than ESPN, but um, maybe in the future. <laughs> uh, Fight Night Round 3, really, really fun game. I've played the 360 version of this the most. Um, really fun. The Fight Night series has always been fun. I really want, uh, I really, really want uh, EA to bring back, EA Sports to bring back the, the Fight Night series. Rather, it's a Fight Night Champion 2, which you'll see later in the video, spoiler alert. Um... Or it's a Fight Night Round 4, something involving Fight Night, because Fight Night was a great fighting series. It was a great boxing game. Uh, Ghostbusters, the video game, I've surprisingly never played this. I think I played like two minutes of this, then never again. And anyone who owns a PS3 has to own Gran, Tur uh, Gran Turismo 3 A-Spec. Uh, and if you guys can see, that is right. I got this game for a dollar. <laughs> I got this for a dollar. Um, it's so crazy to think. A lot of these games at launch came out were like $60, $80. And since it's a sports game, I can get it at a pawn shop or a flea market or something for like a dollar. It's so crazy, the, the exchange rate from when this game came out, for example, in 2002 uh, or 2000, 
one, sorry, 2001 to 2018 when I got this. 2018, 2017, sorry. Um, oh yeah, I got this NHL Faceoff 01. Oh, sorry, yeah, spoiler for later in the video. And NBA 2K5. Wow, so that's weird. I didn't even get NBA 2K5 and NHL 2K5 at the same team at the same time. That's really weird. But uh, yeah, Gran Turismo 3 A spec. I'm gonna block the the card. Yeah, that disc is pretty iconic to most early 2000s kids. Oh, okay, this is the greatest hits edition. I just realized that. So, yeah. And then uh, next up we've got the Grand Theft Auto 3. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas and Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Technically, if I were going in order they were released, it would obviously be like that. But since I put my games in alphabetical order, it is like this. 3 is a bad game. I'm going to be completely honest. It's subjective, of course, obviously. But personally, I didn't like 3. It was... Yes, it was innovative for 2001. But for 2020, when I go back and play the PS3 version... Or I actually played the Xbox version. Spoiler alert again. But um, when I went back to play the, the Xbox version... When you couldn't, when I couldn't move the camera, I was like, okay, I know that's that's a game breaker for me. That's 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 a game breaker. San Andreas is fantastic. It's it's one of the best video games ever for me personally. Um, even though I did say I like four better, I do still really like San Andreas. Uh, it's the most recent Grand Theft Auto I've played because five for some reason didn't load on my computer, so I can't play Grand Theft Auto five on my computer. But San Andreas is pretty good, nonetheless. Um, I really like San Andreas. And then Grand Theft Auto Vice City is... It's good. It's a fun game. Nothing completely special, though. Um, Gretzky NHL 05. This is not a great game at all. Um, I think the PSP version is far worse. How, far worse. However, the... Uh, this one isn't that bad. It's not too, too bad. Then we've got Grand Theft Auto. Or Guitar Hero. Guitar Hero 2. And Guitar Hero 3. I also have World Tour. I keep forgetting to take it out of the out of the World Tour big box, the guitar. But I do also have World Tour on PS2. But uh, funny enough, I actually originally got Guitar Hero 1 and 2 on PlayStation. I think they were like 5 bucks each, if I remember correctly. Um, and the reason I got these was because of a school project I had that was in French. I had to do... Or I, uh, my, my teacher assigned me a... Or assigned everyone to do a project in French. And they, they said, alright, just make a video topic on the history of something. And I, I asked, Guitar Hero, is that fine? And I was like, sure, why not? And I ended up doing a project on Guitar Hero. And uh, if you guys want to see that, I... Uh, maybe. <laughs> maybe in the future. It's it's really bad, though, from what I remember. It's a really bad project. I, I, I put a lot of effort into it, but it's not great. Hitman Tucson Assassin. Uh, Hitman Contracts and Hitman Blood Money. By the way, I do want to point out Guitar Hero is a great franchise. I really love the Guitar Hero games. Uh, these unfor these all came in a box set. Unfortunately, I did lose the slip to them. Uh, and f cool enough, Hitman Blood Money actually comes with a playable demo, a sneak preview for Kane and Lynch Dead Men. And I actually... Th oh, no. I was thinking of the PC game. The PC game came with some type of little card. But, um... But, yeah. Uh... I, IHRA Professional Drag Racing 2005. I remember having this game as a kid. I'm actually kind of... That's kind of my mission whenever I go places. Uh, funny enough, Bethesda work on, worked on this game. So that's pretty fun to think about. Um, but yeah, I, I'm on a mission. Whenever I go to a pawn shop or a flea market or something, I always want to look for a game that I had in my childhood. Uh, Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories, Flushed Away... Um, different games. I'd have to look through my little case of games wherever it is and see what I, what I do have. But, uh, double I, uh, or IHRA professional drag racing 2005 was one of those games. Jaws Unleashed. I got this for like $5, $5. It's pretty fun from what I played. It's not that great though. Kingdom Hearts, which I would have loved to play had it not been a movie called Jumper. Yeah. Um... Yeah, so I can't play Kingdom Hearts. So, yeah. Uh, Madden NFL 2001. Madden NFL 07, the Hall of Fame edition. I do have the 05 uh, Hall of Fame edition as well, but I forget where that went. Uh, Major League Baseball 2K5? Or Major League Baseball 2K10. I don't know why I said 5. Um, 2K10 is apparently a pretty decent game. Um... Madden NFL 2001, it's actually pretty cool to own a football game from all the way back then. 
Uh, I only say all the way back then just because, like, almost 20 years ago. It's pretty cool. Then we've got MLB 2005, MLB 06 The Show, 07 The Show, and 08 The Show. So I own four, five straight years of, of MLB games, three straight years of it being The Show. So that's pretty cool. Um, where do the NHL games start? Because I'll pick the games up right from before then. Uh, oh my god, yeah. Oh my god, yeah. Okay, there's a little bit before we get to the NHL games. We've got Monster 4x4 Masters of Metal. This is a game I do also remember as a kid. It's pretty fun. It's a pretty fun PlayStation 2 game. Mortal Kombat Armageddon. I also had Deception. I forget where that went. There's a couple PS2 games I have that I forget where they are. Uh, NASCAR Heat 2002. I picked this up. It was like a dollar. You don't see that game that much. You, there's a lot of PS2 sports games and just PS2 games in general that are, aren't that rare, but you don't see them that often. It's interesting. Uh, NBA 06. NBA 2K3, NBA 2K6, and NBA Live 09. Why do I feel like I'm forgetting a game, but no, I'm not. So, yeah, I own some baseball. I own some basketball games. Uh, I haven't played many of them, though. For only a dollar, I might as well pick them up, you know. If ever I do want to get into basketball and play some old school games, I have them. They're at my disposal. Uh, NCAA Final Four 02. I've already talked about the NCAA. Uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted Black Edition. Basically what this is, is it's just a dark version of the case. And it comes with a cool exclusive DVD. I don't know what's on the DVD. I was given this as kind of a gift, so I still gotta play it. Need for Speed Underground 2, from what I remember, pretty fun game. NFL 2K3. And now, guys, I'm going to pull out the, uh, NHL games. Excluding the 2K series, because I don't think I... Oh, no, I do have some. Whew. All right, uh, get ready for this, guys. We've got NHL 01 with Owen Nolan on the cover. NHL 02 with Mario Lemieux on the cover. NHL 03 with Jerome McGinley on the cover, looking like a game-rendered face. NHL 04 with Danny Heatley on the cover, and NHL 04 with Joe Sackick on the cover after Sackick, or after uh, Heatley got into his accident. Uh, NHL 05 with Marcus Nazan on the cover. NHL 06 with Vanilla Cavalier on the cover, NHL 07 with Ovi on the cover, NHL 06 with Dion, or NHL 09 with Dion Phaneuf on the cover, 2K7 with Joe Thornton on the cover, and uh, 2K8 with Jason Spezza on the cover, NHL Faceoff 1 with Curtis Joseph on the cover, and NHL 03 with, I believe, May Milan Hey Duke? I think Milan Hey Duke on the cover. Does it say anywhere on the front where who it is on the cover? Because I think it's Hey Duke. I think it's Milan Hey Duke. Not 100% sure, but, uh, yeah, those are all my NHL games I own on the PS2. There's a lot of them. That's, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, yeah, there you go. I got all of them all the way from 01 to 07. I just need 09 or 08, uh, and then I, I need a couple of the 2K series. I think I need, I think it's 06, 08, and 2K10, but 2K10 is kind of hard to come by. So, uh, yeah, I do own it on other systems, spoiler alert. Open season, I completed this as a kid with my uncle. I remember it, it was really fun. Um, but open season, I need to give this a replay. I need to get a PS2 emulator and play it again. Scarface, The World Is Yours, really, really fun game, apparently. Really fun GTA knockoff. Scooby-Doo and the Spooky Swamp, pretty fun. Uh, Shark Tale, I've heard it, it's another it's another movie licensed video game. Showdown, Lesson, Le Showdown Legends of Wrestling, um... It's the third in the Legends of Wrestling series. By the time we got to this game, we kind of, people kind of knew what they were getting. It's a claim. <laughs> There's a reason the series was canceled after Showdown. So, yeah. Uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2, but it also comes with a special Battlefront 1 uh, content. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, I own a couple of these greatest hits, and I really don't know why. Uh, <laughs> Super Pickups. Swing Away Golf. I got this for a dollar. There's another copy of the Naked Brothers Band the game, this time on the PS2. Um, not naked, need money back. SpongeBob SquarePants movie. This one's pretty funny. Uh, I really like the SpongeBob SquarePants movie, both the actual movie and the game. The game is really fun. If I can find a, a PC version, or if I can find an emulator that runs this game that isn't the Game Boy Advance or the PC point-and-click game, I'd love to get. I'd love to play it again. Uh, we've got Tiger Woods PGA Tour 04. 05, 05, and 07. 
yeah, um, Tiger Woods. I, my dad really likes Tiger Woods PGA Tour, uh, 05 especially. Uh, 05 has been kind of crowned as like the pinnacle of the Tiger Woods series. And then Tokyo Extreme Racer 3. And then we're going to get into the last bit of, oh shit. The, not the last bit of, oh shit, the last bit of PS2 games. I'm going to pause and then we're going to get into the PS3 games and the PS4 games. Wally, this is a interesting kid movie licensed game. Pretty tough for me as a kid when I played it. I was probably just really stupid, but I need to go back and replay it. World Series of Poker, really, really enjoy the poker games. Um, the ones on the PSPs are the ones on the PSP are pretty fun. Then we've got WWE SmackDown vs Raw, this is the Superstar Series. It comes with um, SmackDown vs Raw, SmackDown vs Raw 2006 and 2007. Uh, don't like SVR, the original. 06 is pretty fun. I think 07 is the best, though. I really, really enjoy 2007. Another copy of 2006, which I think I got because... I oh, know, I think this is the one that was in there, but my copy got scratched to hell. Yeah, it kind of got scratched a bit, so I had to get a new copy of 06. Then we've got 2008, which is a really, really fun game. Uh, really like 08. Uh... Plus, this copy I've had for, God, seven years now, I think. Um, I remember so many memories playing SVR 08, and it was really fun. Um, WWE SmackDown, Here Comes the Pain. WWE SmackDown, Shut Your Mouth. WWF SmackDown, Just Bring It. Um, screw it, I'm going to keep going. We're, we're going to keep going with the games. We've got Assassin's Creed Revelations. Shout out to Isles Girl 3, big uh, Assassin's Creed fan. Uh, Band Hero, which, uh, is not that great. <laughs> it's not that great of a Guitar Hero game. Batman Arkham Asylum and Arkham City. I still need to play the Batman Arkham games. Um, I think I'm just waiting to get a good PC to get a PS3 emulator and play it for you people. Um, Bejeweled 3, really fun puzzle game. I really enjoy the Bejeweled games. Oddly enough, on PS3, it kind of works. It kind of works. Um, Bulletstorm. Call of Duty Black Ops, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, Dirt 2, I haven't played any of the, actually no, that's a lie, I popped in Black Ops for like 5 minutes to play Zombies, and it was not how I remembered it, it was not great, Disney sing it, we're gonna act like I don't own that, uh, I'm never gonna play that game, DJ Hero, which I let, yes, if you're, you're, you're seeing that correct, if you can even see it, I paid 10 cents for this, I paid 10 cents for DJ Hero, I got 2 copies of DJ Hero, one of them was for free because it was like, eh, it's 10 cents, whatever. FIFA Soccer 11. Um, fight Night Round 4. I forgot they made a Fight Night Round 4. I guess I want uh, EA to make a Fight Night Round 5 is what I want. I keep forgetting Fight Night Round 4 came out. But, uh, yeah, you got Tyson and Muhammad Ali on the cover there. Pretty pretty interesting. Pretty cool. Mike Tyson, of course, recently won, uh, lost his fight against uh, Roy Jones Jr. Um Totally not editing this in post to say which one he did. Um, Final Fantasy X and X2 HD remaster. Um, pretty fun. Pretty fun from what I've heard. I really want to get into Final Fantasy. I want to try getting into RPGs. My, one of my best friends, Mr. DDT, if you guys know him, uh, you're an OG. Um, Mr. DDT loves RPGs. He loves Disgaea, Final Fantasy. Really, really want to get into it. And then, of course, we've got... GTA 4 and episodes from Liberty City with bonus regular ass GTA 4 disc. I was given to this by a friend and uh, yeah, so that's kind of fun. Then we've got GTA 5, which I still need to. I need. I need to get that on PS4 eventually. I need to get that on PS4. Uh, then Grand Theft Auto San Andreas is the greatest hits edition. The PS3 version is not good at all. Um, the PS3 version of San Andreas is too buggy. It introduced a lot of new glitches, especially with the aspect ratio, considering it had to take what was on the PS2 and stretch it out to get it on the PS3. Uh, you see stuff that you're not supposed to see. Cars get, end up blinking. Players are end up sitting when they're supposed to be standing uh, off screen. It's 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 buggy. It's a, it's a fun mess if you want to just goof around with GTA San Andreas, which I love doing. But if you want to play it like as a series, go through the story, then you're, you're going to find yourself turning it off in like an hour. Guitar Hero 5, Guitar Hero Live, and Guitar Hero Warriors of Rock. Guitar Hero Live I got in the box with the guitar. I kind of like it, honestly. It's not as good as the 5 fret guitar, but the 6 fret guitar I don't mind. Guitar Hero Live I think is interesting. If I had the chance I might get it on PS4. The only thing that I think is holding me back from wanting to get it 
is that Guitar Hero TV is gone. Guitar Hero TV is no more. I forget if they gave you the option to download songs off of GHTV or if that's just something I, I wish they would have done. But you basically can only play the base game. Which I guess is the point of every Guitar Hero game. But with Clone Hero out now, kind of defeats the purpose. And given the fact that I can l play literally any game, I can play literally any song from Guitar Hero Live on Clone Hero or GHTV on Clone Hero if I had a 360 guitar. Um, I don't need to get Guitar Hero Live on a new console, but, uh, I might, eventually. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, Infamous. I've heard a lot of good things about Infamous. Definitely want to check these out. Wait, I just realized. I know, I was thinking of Uncharted. I was thinking, no way, I I'm trying to, I'm trying to get the, the Uncharted Nathan Drake collection, but then I was like, wait, no, is it Infamous? But no, Infamous was PS3, Infamous 2 was PS3. And then I think Infamous 3 got delayed heavily until it was on PS4, I think. And I don't think they've released an Infamous collection. Uncharted is the one I was thinking of that I that I, that I I want to try and get the trilogy of eventually. That's the one I was thinking of. But yeah, on Infamous, I got this for $3. I was going to get Infamous 2 as well, but I was like, no, nah, I'll just get the first one. If I like it, then I'll get the second one. Lego Batman 3 Beyond Gotham. Uh, I got, I've had this for eight years now, and I haven't played it yet um, for some reason. Uh, Lollipop Chainsaw, this is a really, really fun game. I really enjoy Lollipop Chainsaw. Plus, the cool thing is it comes with, uh, some exclusive costumes for, for the main character. Even though I didn't pre-order the game, it came with these. So, that's, I think that's kind of cool. I really like that they, they did that. Madden NFL, the Hall of Fame edition, I got this for a dollar. <laughs> uh, some guy bought that at launch for like a hundred plus, I'm sure. Game, some guy bought it from GameStop for $5, and I bought it for $1. <laughs> Big rips. Uh, and Madden NFL 13, NASCAR 08. Um, so we're starting to get into the sports game side of things. Oh, shit. Um, next up, we've got my NBA games. Yep, my NBA games. And I think I'll actually take the rest of the games. Yeah, so the, M the NHL start there. So we got NBA 07 with uh, Mr. Rapist on the cover. Uh, NBA 2K12. NBA 2K13 and NBA 2K14. Um, so yeah, three straight NBA games. I spent a combined four dollars on these. Uh, fourteen was a dollar, thirteen was a dollar, and twelve was two dollars. So yeah, I spent a combined four dollars on these three games. At five if you're including NBA 04. So that's pretty solid. And then NBA NBA Live 09 for some reason was two dollars. So I spent a combined seven dollars on these five games. Wait, one, three, five. Seven, yeah, seven dollars, yeah. Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. Um, I got this as a birthday gift one year. It was pretty fun from what I remember. It was it was really interesting playing, um, playing Need for Speed. It was pretty fun. I liked it. I might play it again. Would ten out of ten would would smash again. Then we're gonna get on to the NHL games. I do not have nearly not nearly. I don't have as many on PS2, but I have quite a few. We've got NHL 08 with Jordan Stahl on the cover. 09 with Dion Phaneuf on the cover. 2K10 or NHL 10 with Patrick Kane on the cover, 11 with Jonathan Taze on the cover, 13 with Claude Giroux on the cover, 15 with Patrice Bergeron on the cover, 2K7 with Joe Thornton on the cover, 2K8 with Dion Phaneuf on the cover, and 2K9 with Rick Nash on the cover. I feel like one of these games had a. I feel like one of these games I ended up putting a bonus disc in for the 2K games, but I guess not. I guess that was the 360s. Spoiler alert. So yeah, um, funny enough, I wanted to get 14 on the PS3 and Legacy Edition, but I don't have those yet, obviously. Um, so yeah, there's the PS3 games. Or not all the PS3 games. We still got we still got a, a good ways to go. A uh, decent amount of games. We're already 25 minutes just into the PlayStation games. These, I'm, I'm warning you guys now, this video might be as long as the DVD collection. This video might be as long as the DVD collection was, and I apologize to everyone. Uh... Pro Evolution Soccer 2014, Red Dead Redemption, The Greatest Hits, I had, I got this for my birthday, have not played it yet, don't shoot me, uh, Sonic Generations, The Last of Us on PS3, funny enough, another game I'm trying to get on the PS4, there's a couple of these games I'm trying to get on the PS4, Grand Theft Auto 5, uh, technically infamous if it is on the PS4, I would like to get it, Last of Us, there's a couple others on here, I'll get to them when I do, uh, or actually, yeah, let me look at my collection, well, Guitar Hero Live, technically, uh, Lollipop Chainsaw, I would like a PS4 restoration so I can get it there. But, um, but yeah, Last of Us, I've heard, is, is one of the greatest video games of all time. I've heard it's the greatest video game of 2013. Definitely want to play it eventually. 
Um, not sure about Last of Us Part 2, but Last of Us definitely. Uh, Tiger Woods PGA Tour 10. I believe they stopped making these. I think they made one. It's like Rory McMillan PGA Tour 15 or something like that, but it just didn't work, and I think they canceled the series after that. TNA Impact, uh, UFC Unspeeded Online. TNA Impact I got for a whole $2. That's how good it is. Uh, Watch Dogs, yeah, this is one of the games where they put it in the PS3 Blue, and I didn't even notice that. I did, Or the PS4 Blue. I didn't even notice that until, like, I watched a video on it. And it's like, yeah, you look at the spines. And I would take one from the PS4s, but they're, they're buried. But it's the same spine as the PS4, just on the PS3. I'm glad I didn't get confused. I mean, hey, that's it's. I mean, hey, if they had just put this in a in a in a blue PS4 case, pretty much, and marketed it as PS3, you could probably sue for false advertising. You probably could. But uh, Watch Dogs, it's another one I want to get on PS4 eventually. Uh, I've heard it's fun. I've heard it's not that bad. I've heard the sequel is worse though. I've heard the sequel is pretty bad. Then we're getting into all of my wrestling games I have on the PS4, which I believe, yes, goes right to the end. Holy shit. So these are the last of the PS3s. Then we get into the PS4s, which I can hold in my hand. Uh, so we got WW12. This is the... Funny enough, this is one that I got with the promo code to unlock The Rock, even though I didn't pre-order this game. I was not a wrestling fan in 2011. I got this for my birthday. WWE13, which, funny enough, also came with the code... To unlock Iron Mike Tyson, despite the fact I didn't pre-order the game. Um, so EA, or 2K, THQ, whoever was up running the games at the time, THQ, they didn't do a good job. <laughs> WW2K14, which I got on launch day. No logo on the spine, and no pre-order bonus for the Ultimate Warrior, funny enough. Don't pre-order the game, you get the code. You pre-order the game, or you get it on launch day, you, you're fucked. WW2K15, I got this for Christmas of, I want to say, 2014. Yeah, the year this came out, 2014. I remember back in 2014 getting this game for Christmas. It was the first thing I opened. I, I happened to pick the thing that was 2K15, opened it up, and as soon as the gifts were done, I went in my room, and I was going to play this if it didn't need updates. <laughs> no, I think the updates took like 30 minutes. Finally, the updates finished. I played this game. I spent like all day playing this game. Um... Yeah, this this was a great, fun, loved 2K15 for the time. Obviously now, it's really bad. Not really bad. I, I still like it. But for the time, I personally really liked it. But um, I understand why people didn't. I really liked the 2K Showcase. I understand the roster was really small. It's because they were still working with PS2 technology. By the time the PS4 came out, I really hope somehow that story is fake. But they were working with PS2 technology on the PS3 and PS4, so... Yeah. Play, uh, WW2K16, funny enough, looks worse than 2K15. Um, yeah, it looks worse than 2K15. So by this point, they were starting to downgrade the technology on the PS3 versions to upgrade the technology on the PS4 versions, not by that much. 2K16, I don't like. I, I don't care for it, which sucks, because it's a Stone Cold Steve Austin 2K showcase mode. But that might be why I don't like it, because you're just... Doing the same matches over and over again. Punch, kick, stunner, that's it. Um, WWE All-Stars. Really, really fun game. Really, really enjoy that one. I don't own 2K17 yet on the PS3. Uh, I want to get that eventually. It's that one. Uh, yeah, that's the only one I think I actually need to complete the collection. WWE Legends of WrestleMania. I thought this one came with a pre-order code, but I guess it didn't. I don't mind this game. I actually don't mind this game uh, at all. It's it's fun. I enjoy Legends of WrestleMania. I understand why some people don't because it's kind of not arcadey, but trying to be arcadey. So I understand why people don't like it. SmackDown vs. Raw 2008, 2009, 2010, and 2011, the Bret Hart edition. Uh, funny enough, this technically begins the trend of getting the pre-order bonuses when I didn't pre-order the game. So 08, yeah, okay, it's whatever. There's no pre-order bonuses. That's whatever. 08 didn't have a pre-order bonus. Um, 09, okay, fine, didn't have the pre-order bonus, I never played this game much anyways, but then you get to SVR 2010, oh, shit, <laughs> wrong version I was thinking of, does not have the pre-order bonus, but 2011, mwah, the first ever wrestling game I got, um, from my grandmother, from, from my ma, um, 
the exclusive unlockable code to, to unlock Brett the Hitman Heart. Um, yeah. This is the game that technically started it all. This is the game that got me really heavily into wrestling. So, yeah. This, this is the game that heavily got me into wrestling. And the game that started the pre-order bonus. The trend of me getting the WWE video games, but not getting the pre-order bonuses. So, yeah. Those are the PS3 games. 08, I really enjoyed. 09 was good. 10 was decent. 11 was meh. Now we're getting into the PS4 games. I do not have that many PS4 games. Um, mostly because they're still fairly expensive for some reason. Battlefield 1, I got this with my PS4. The person who or the person who I got this from, I was running a contest. And not I was running a contest. The person I got this from was running a contest. For PS4, I won. Shipped it to my address. Ended up shipping me Battlefield 1 with it. So that's pretty cool. Destiny 2, I got this for Christmas. I didn't really play it. It's not that great a game I've heard, but I want to try it eventually. Friday the 13th, the game, I also got this for Christmas. Funny enough, uh, it comes with exclusive Bloody Jason skin and Counselor clothing pack. So, that's pretty cool. I actually think I got this before it was supposed to be out physically. I feel like I remember hearing it got delayed, but my parents somehow were able to get it for me for Christmas that year. I forget. Oh, this is the one of the ones that I haven't shown you guys. There's a few I haven't shown you guys. But we got God of War 3 Remastered. This is the PlayStation Hits version. Uh, my my homie, homie for life, Mr. DDT, gonna love that I own God of War 3 Remastered. I need to find a way to get 1 and 2. I need to find a way to get the remake as well. I want to play 3, then get into the remake. I want to play 1 and 2, though, first. So, if somehow I can find a, a PlayStation 2 copy of either one of those, then that'd be great. MLB 14 the show. I don't know why I got this. It's just because there's a Blue Jay on the cover. And uh, it was $8. Probably not worth it. <laughs> but um, but yeah. And then we've got NHL 15, NHL 17, NHL 19, NHL 20, and NHL 21. That's right, guys. I own five PS4 um, games. Funny enough, I wasn't supposed to own NHL 19. I was going to get 18, but the guy who was at the cash uh, for the EB Games said, hey, do you want 19? It's 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 the same price. It's $5. We're running a sale. And it was because NHL 21 was coming out, and 20 was also on sale. So 15, it's bad. It's We've all established this. NHL 15 is the worst hockey video game in a long time. NHL 17 is fun. I still go back and play NHL 17. I quite enjoy it. NHL 19, I have not played this once. And the, the reason for that being because I got NHL 20 at the same time. Why not just play NHL 20? I do want to play some NHL 19 eventually though, but NHL 20, pretty solid. And then NHL 21, people have already discussed why NHL 21 is not a great video game. So yeah. Then we've got UFC 2, which is pretty solid. I quite enjoy some UFC video games. WWE 2K16, which I don't know why I spent $25 on this. And WWE 2K18, this was uh, a Christmas gift from my parents in, I want to say, 2017? I want to say they got me this game the year it came out, 2017. They might have gotten... No, yeah, yeah, for sure they did. Yeah, I absolutely remember they did, because my, my homie again, Mr. DDT Regulator, he got this game a day early. I remember me and him both, we, we were really big into wrestling at the time. He wanted this game. I wanted this game, 2K18. And I was asking my parents for months, like, oh, get me 2K18 for Christmas, please. I really want 2K18 for Christmas. If that's the only thing that you guys can get me, get me 2K18 for PS4. And I remember me and him were in a voice call together. And he, and he told me, like, oh, I'll be right back, homie, in uh, about five minutes. I got to go downstairs. Comes back. Without me knowing, I guess. I guess he turned off his mic or something. Comes back on. And all of a sudden I see... DDT regulator wants to share play or something like that. And so I was like, hey, homie, join share play. I do. And what do I see? I see him in the main menu selecting Shinsuke Nakamura and Stone Cold Steve Austin in a backstage brawl. And and I immediately just go, dude, how come you got this game first? Dude, dude, you got to let me play with you. You got to let me play with you. We joking, obviously. Played a few matches. Then we, we ended up share playing. It worked like ass because... It's 2K. They don't know how to make online servers that are competent. But uh, ended up getting it the next morning. And this is Christmas Eve, by the way. Ended up getting it the next morning on Christmas Day. We tried to play online. It didn't work. That's when we found out the 2K servers were incompetent. We tried share playing. It was decent. 
Not great, though. But, uh, yeah, 2K18 holds a special place in my heart. Those are all the PS, the PlayStation games, guys. Uh, this would have been a great way to end the video. Who knows? Maybe, maybe what I'll do is I'll edit out, I'll edit myself in saying, nah, we're putting the P PlayStations at the end, and you'll have just found out why the PlayStations are at the end. But, uh, if this is not the end, you'll see me go to the Microsofts and the Nintendos. If this is the end, then you're gonna see me splice in the ending from when I did the Nintendo and Microsoft games. But I will leave you to whichever one of those endings it is, whether it's the Microsoft Nintendo games to continue on or it's the ending. I'll let you go on. Let's see which it is. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, favorite channel. This is not limited to YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitter, and everything else. My name is Harry Race. Subscribe to the Puff Club. Subscribe to the Heechee Club. Subscribe to the Sub Up if you're a member of the Mod Squad. Like my good boys. Hot Take Hockey, DDT Regulator, Rick Nelson, Rich J, Isles Girl 3, uh, I have some other mods, I can't think of any of them at the time, Ray Bro, Skinner, Jeff, I feel like I have a guy named Jeff on the, on, as a mod on the channel, Jeff, I like Jeff, Mod Jeff 2020 if he's isn't modded already, <laughs> but thank you guys for meeting mods on the channel, and even if, you're mod, even, even if you're not a mod on the channel, thank you for stopping by and checking out the streams. Or the videos, because this is a video. This is 25 Days of Harry. It's a video. Um, <laughs> so yeah, guys. Uh, links in the description are my Twitter and my Twitch. I don't use Twitter all that often. Once in a while, I'll use it. Twitch, I absolutely hate right now, because I don't like a lot of their policies. But uh, eventually, maybe I'll use Twitch. Once we find a place with good Wi-Fi, and um, and I, I'm able to figure out what I want to do with Twitch, uh, you can go follow me on there if you want. Who knows? Maybe eventually a secret stream will pop up on there. Maybe I can start streaming my, from my PS4 eventually. I, I have some games uh, that you just saw. Literally just just now saw. Uh, I have some games on the PS4 I could stream eventually. Maybe on Twitch. I prefer YouTube because I actually get an audience on YouTube. But we'll see eventually. We'll see. Um, I also have the PayPal, the Amazon wish list, and the PO Box in the description. If you want to donate to me via the PayPal, you will get your name on the... It's upside down. You will get your name on the big ass donor board of donations. Um, only three people, technically two people, have donated. Okay, as to the boomers and Mr. DDT Regulator, he's donated twice. Um, greatly appreciated. Never asked for, but if you do want to, it is there as an option. The PO box and the letter and the uh, Amazon wish list are there as well. If you do want to send me anything, it is greatly appreciated. You will get a video of me unboxing whatever it is you want me to open. Unless you do say in a, in a, in the, a letter or whatever that you don't want me to open it on camera, then in that case, it won't be. But a special acceptance is, exception is made for the month of December. You will not get one video of me unboxing if, if anyone sends me anything. You will get a whole stream. I'm doing a Christmas live stream. Uh, I'm not going to be up here all day. I'm going to be up for maybe half an hour to an hour. Um, cause, uh, it's family day. It's pretty much family day on Christmas for me. And, um, yeah, I'm going to be, if there's any packages to open last year, there wasn't, I was fine with that. We still had a pretty fun stream. If there are, or if there aren't, we will still do the stream, but if there are any to open, they will be opened on Christmas day on the Christmas day live stream. Um, what else do I have in the description? My discord, join the discord. I post notifications every time I go live or every time I post a video, uh, we need to get the Discord active because it's dead right now <laughs> as I'm recording this. Uh, it is kind of dead. But, um, but yeah, guys, uh, I also have the letterbox in the description. Unless I have another surprise. I have my speedrun.com, actually. I, I have my speedrunning account. I want to get a better, or not a better, but I want to get a new PS2 controller. Mine finally died on me. Not died, but mine finally broke. Um, partly. Kind of broke. It's probably an easy fix now that I think about it. But, um, but yeah. Uh, I want to get a better working PS2 controller, um, just to uh, just because I'll be able to start speedrunning again. I do want to do some videos as well, some Let's Play videos that involve older games, emulated games. But uh, we'll see about that. And the last thing I have in the description is my letterbox. That's right, my letterbox. You, if you guys want to check it out, you guys can uh, check out. I typically rate and review movies on there. Very rarely I'll actually review them. Most of the time I just rate them. Uh, so check it out if you want to know what movies I love, unless you'd rather check out the video I made for Christmas Day last year, which may or may not be in my top 100 favorite movies of all time of 2019. Or if you want to wait till the end of 25 Days of Harry this year, you can check out the top 100 favorite movies of all time of 2020. Um, subject to change. Um, yeah, you can also check it out if you want to know what movies I hate. I might make a video on that in the future. I've been wanting to, but there's not really been a demand for it. But yeah, I want to do that in the future. 
thank you all so much for watching this video. Thank you all if you're a new subscriber, if you're a past subscriber, no matter what you do guys on the channel. Thank you all so much. It means a lot knowing that I have anyone watching me. My name is Harry Rice. Thank you for watching the video. Again, my name is Harry Rice. And I am out. Peace.